Hi guys and welcome to another Asher story time and this week's story is Mr Funny. So, Mr Funny, he lives in a teapot. It has two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen and a living room and it suits Mr Funny very nicely. It's a very pretty teapot. One day Mr Funny was having his lunch he wasn't very hungry, so he only had a daisy sandwich and a glass of toast. Delicious, he murmured to himself as he finished his very funny lunch. It is a funny lunch, you have toast for a drink. Well, Mr Funny does. After lunch, Mr Funny decided to go for a drive in his car. Mr Funny's car is a shoe. Have you ever seen a car that looks like a shoe? It looks very funny. As he drove along, everyone who saw him laughed to see such a funny sight. He passed a worm at the side of the road. The worm thought Mr Funny in his funny car was the funniest thing she'd ever seen. He nearly laughed himself in two. He passed a pig in a field. The pig thought Mr Funny was funny and his car was funny and it was the funniest thing he'd ever seen. She nearly laughed her tail off. Her tail. Even the flowers he passed thought Mr Funny was the funniest thing they had ever seen. They nearly laughed themselves out of the ground. Eventually Mr Funny came to a crossroads. He didn't know which way to go, so he looked at the signpost. That will be funny, thought. One of the signs said, the zoo. Oh, that looks good, thought Mr Funny to himself, so he drove his shoe towards the zoo. When he arrived at the gates of the zoo, the zookeeper said, stop, it is closed. I'm sorry, said the zookeeper, we've had to close today because all the animals have a cold. Oh, and they're feeling very, very sorry for themselves. Oh dear, thought Mr. Funny. And then he thought, perhaps I can cheer them up. Well, said the zookeeper, it would be worth a try. And he opened the gates and let Mr. Funny in. Mr. Funny drove into the zoo in his shoe. The first thing he saw was an elephant. It was true. The elephant was feeling very sorry for himself, very sorry indeed. Mr. Funny stood and looked at the sad looking elephant and the sad looking elephant stood and looked at Mr. Funny. Oh dear. Then, do you know what Mr. Funny did? He pulled a funny face. Can you pull a funny face? Mm, funny face. <laughs> Mr. Funny, as you imagined, his face was very, very funny. The elephant giggled. She'd never seen such a funny thing. Mr. Funny pulled another face. The elephant burst out laughing. The elephant laughed and laughed and laughed. She laughed so hard she nearly laughed her trunk off. And she felt a lot, lot better. Mr. Funny then went over to the lion house. Lions. There was a lion feeling extraordinarily sorry for himself. Mr. Funny stood and looked at the sad looking lion and the sad looking lion stood and looked at Mr. Funny. Oh dear. It's very sad. And then Mr. Funny pulled another funny looking face. And it's probably the funniest looking face the lion had ever seen. Now you've heard of a lion roar before, haven't you? Well, this lion roared too. He roared with laughter. He laughed so hard that he nearly laughed his whiskers off. There's then Mr Funny went around to see all the other animals in the zoo. Oh dear, what a miserable looking lot. For all of them, Mr Funny pulled a funny face. Funnier and funnier, funnier faces. The big brown bear giggled and then he burst out laughing. And the giraffe laughed so hard that she nearly laughed her neck into a knot. Ooh. And the hippopotamus nearly laughed his skin off. And the penguins, they nearly laughed their flippers floppy. 
and the leopard well you should really have seen him he laughed and laughed and laughed and he laughed so hard he nearly laughed his spots off what a pandemonium oh mr funny giggled the zookeeper who had started laughing as well oh mr funny thank you thank you thank you very much for cheering us all up oh it was nothing really replied mr funny modestly as he drove off in his shoe there he is leaving the zoo later when mr funny arrived home he chuckled to himself he said oh that's the end of another funny day and he parked his shoe outside his house and went into his teapot he was feeling very very thirsty so he made himself a nice cup of cake and that is the story of mr funny I'll see you soon. Bye.